All right, I'm back with another video. This time I'm gonna be checking out Backpack Battles, man. I've seen a lot of people play this game. This game looks super fun. In fact, I played it already. I already checked that out. It is super fun. I'm just gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna be playing the Ranger. It's an auto battler, first of all. You basically build your, build your items. Make your item build here by using gold to purchase items, which do, which do damage, give you HP regen, give you crit, stuff like that. But the thing you have to keep in mind is every item here has to fit within your actual backpack. And the only way to get more backpack slots is to buy more backpack slots right here through the shop. So the thing to keep in mind with the ranger is that they have a ranger's bag right here. It says items inside the ranger's bag gain 5% critical hit chance for each luck that you have. The way you get luck is by through items. Like this lucky clover here gives me one luck at the beginning of the battle. It also increases my accuracy. Uh, here's a weapon. You see the accuracy of this weapon is only 90%, but we can increase that by getting more luck. Anyway, let me just buy some things and um, let's get rolling. Uh, this west, this over here is a whetstone. It does. I'll, I'll get into it right now. After I buy it. Here is a stone. It basically a one-off damage. As soon as three seconds pass. Once you go, once we go into the battle, once we click this button here, after three seconds, this item will go off. It'll do two to four damage. And if you read the description on their cooldown there, it says can only be thrown once per battle. So it's only going to work once per battle. But the thing to keep in mind is that it only costs one gold here. So I could just buy that straight up. And if I need that extra gold, that extra one gold that I bought it for, I can reset it here for one. So it's basically no risk in me. There's no risk in me buying that. That's why I bought it. What I'm trying to look for. Oh, here. Here's exactly what I was about to say. If I hover over this wooden sword here, you can see this little uh, line that shows up. It's connected with this other thing over here called a whetstone. That's basically because if you buy two whetstones, and put them next to the wooden sword, it's gonna combine into a hero sword. This is something known as a recipe. I haven't figured them all out yet. I've only figured out the ones you see here. So I haven't explored that fully yet, but I am looking for another whetstone. I'll take another clover. There's the other whetstone right there, but I think I'm just going to take the um, spear. It's so cheap and it does a lot of damage and it's on sale too. So you cannot go wrong with a spear that's on sale. Yeah, I'm good with that. Let's start the battle and let's see what happens. Okay. So now I'm actually battling another player who actually made it build himself. And I won. Yeah. The spear there carried me. Let's look at the log. We can see how much damage each weapon that I have did. The spear did 13, the stone did 8, and the wooden sword only did 6. Wow. How did the stone do... Eight. Oh, I crit with the stone. <laughs> That's crazy. What about him? He only had a dagger and he only ended up doing two damage to me. <laughs> That's crazy. It has had a very long cooldown. 3.5 second cooldown. That's why. Okay, so. Now I can actually purchase. 
the two whetstones, combine them. Combine them with my wooden sword. And end up with a hero sword at the end of this battle. So you see here how it's turning golden? That means that it's going to combine to uh, turn into a hero sword at the end. Which is fantastic. That's exactly what I want. Here we go. Hero sword. Okay. So now this thing is... It has that little star right there. It says weapons gain plus two damage. And I can move it around and stuff. Basically, any other slots, any other weapons that occupy where the uh, stars are at are, are going to get that bonus there. Plus two damage. So right now, the spear is actually getting plus two damage. So it's actually four through ten damage. Which is good. Let's see here. I definitely need more space. By the way, you can use the arrow keys to move stuff in your backpack. Which is what I just did there. I'm going to take this. Put it next to the hero sword. So it's actually doing 4 through 6 damage. I'll take another clover. And I do not want that banana. I can't play it, actually. I could play it if I move the uh, zone around, but I don't want to play it. Okay, let's see. There's another recipe that I found. If I combine the hero sword with two more whetstones, you make the hero longsword, which does weapons surrounding it gain plus four damage, which is fantastic. I might, I might go for that. If we take a look at the spear here, it also has a, I guess you could say an effect or something like that. On hit, destroy four shields for each free star slot in front of it. So currently it has three free star slots in front of it. So it's on, on hit, it's destroying 12 shields. So this is an armor shredder right here. I'll take a, I'll take a back stamina sack. Three backpack slots plus one max stamina. Something I haven't mentioned yet. This is stamina. The stamina mechanic in this game. Each of these weapons use stamina. Right here. So clearly... Well, if you run out of stamina, you don't do any damage, basically. So here I ended up with two stamina. This thing takes 0 0.7, 0 0.7 stamina on each basically when it comes off cooldown it's going to take it's going to require 0 0.7 stamina it's going to require us to have 0 0.7 stamina in order for us to actually use the weapon same thing for this thing it takes one stamina cooldowns a little longer though but yeah you have to make sure you keep up with your stamina usage otherwise you're just not going to do any damage so i'm definitely taking that and i'm thinking Piggy bank, gain one gold each time you enter the shop. This piggy bank is great. It combines with these it combines with two clovers to It combines with two clovers to make a new item, a better item. And you can sell it for two. So it costs me three, you can sell it for two. As long as you keep it around for one round, it pays for itself. Anything more than that is pure profit. I gotta do some rearranging here. Uh, let me see. Actually, I think I want this up here. No. Yeah, that seems fine. I'm gonna put this. Wow, the stamina sack costs five? That's a lot of gold. I'll take it anyways. Put that up there, put that up there. No, I messed up. I cannot do what I wanted to do. 
Let me try rotating it. Maybe that'll work. Basically what I want is... I want to have this thing here. I want to have this here. Actually, I could put this here. Put that there. Put this here. Put this here. So now both of the stones are inside the ranger's backpack. So they get that crit bonus. You can see at the very bottom there, it says gains 5% critical hit for each clover that I have. And I got three clovers right now. Can I fit this? Yes, I can. Oh, dragon skin boots. This is a fantastic item in my opinion. Very, very overpowered item. Opens up a lot of builds if you have a lot of these. Definitely going to take that. Going to reserve that because it's on sale and I like me myself. Okay, this guy's getting his build rolling as well. He doesn't have the hero longsword. I mean, he doesn't have the hero sword yet, so I think I would take this fight. That's kind of close. He did have a frying pan that he was smacking me with. Oh, the wooden sword actually dealt more damage than the frying pan. Wow. That's surprising. I guess it does have the whetstone surrounding it, so it's 3 to 5 damage. But the pan is 5 to 6. It's got a much longer cooldown. Well, it's got a bit of a longer cooldown, I guess that's why. Okay, there. The piggy combine. To make a lucky piggy. It's basically the same thing as a piggy and two clovers in one, in just two item slots instead of four. And it gains his bonus right here. Chance base effects of the star item are 20% more likely to trigger. I don't have any chance base effects yet. Any items that do chance base effects. But when I do, I'll, I'll mention them and I'll try to put them on this lucky piggy here. I'll definitely take that. Fantastic item. How's my stamina usage? It says it's pretty low. So I'm thinking I'd buy this. Put it like, um, here. No, it's not gonna work. Not gonna work with the banana. I'm gonna buy it anyways, even though I can't use it. I'm looking for another wet stone right now. Oh, actually, a bag of stones right here. So the stones can actually only be used once per battle, but if you have the bag of stones with it, they can be thrown multiple times per battle. Which sounds really good to me. So what's the idea here? What's the plan? I guess I could put the spear there. Let me do some rearranging. Swap that with that. Put that there. Put the spear inside the fanny pack so it triggers 10% faster. Basically has a 10% faster attack speed. Put the sword there. That's fine. Put the stones there. I'll put the sword there so they gain plus two damage. I don't think I can fit them inside the fanny pack. I mean the uh, ranger's bag. And get the hero sword bonus. I'll just put that there. Uh, actually, I can put this, uh, yeah, I'll put it right there. 
Actually, the movie is over there. Put the banana inside the fanny pack. Put that there, put that there. And put that there. What's this thing do? 66% chance to gain 1 mana. If you have at least 10 mana, do 2 damage instead. It combines with the broom. Actually, haven't, I have not made that combination. I, I think I'll just make it. What does the broom do, actually? Triggers... If the opponent misses, misses an attack, triggers an extra attack without stamina cost. If you have at least one mana, 25% 25 chance to inflict one blind. Okay, let's, I, maybe. Maybe I replace the spear with that. See how it goes. Oh, this guy's got, this guy's about to make his um, hero longsword. The spear did a lot of damage there. Destroyed a lot of his shield. Actually, it only destroys four. I still dealt a lot of damage. Okay, there's the extra whetstone there. I think I'll just use that now. I might sell the banana. I not sure. Yeah, because I can't really use it right now. Just buy it anyways. Next turn, buy that bag, buy the broom, combine it with the orb. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, there's the hero longsword. Now everything surrounding it gets plus four damage. I definitely need some more space. I don't mind picking that up. I think I could fit this. So that they're both... Both of my uh, high dealing damage weapons are inside the fanny pack now.
So my stamina usage is definitely way too high now. With this broom. I'm definitely picking that up and sell. Actually, this whole thing is just looking not, not good. I gotta move that. Move, put that there. Put that there. Or there, or there. Maybe there. What's the cool on these rocks? Three seconds. Okay, my stamina usage is way too high. Like, I don't think I can have the fanny pack on. On the weapons. Because that's just, just going to drain my whole stamina usage. I could rotate the spear there. No, I... Oh, actually I could. That way, the mana orb is hitting all three weapons. Now I cannot place the banana. There we go, I think that'll work. Oh, the piggy works with this. Yeah, because it's a chance based item. The piggy actually works with that. But there's no way for me to... Actually, there is. No. I can't get that piggy pointing at it. Yeah, I don't think there is a way for me to get the piggy point at it. I need more stamina. We'll see how the fight goes, but I definitely need more stamina. Okay, this thing has this guy has a new um crystal here that I haven't seen before. Opponent below 30% health deal 50% plus 50% damage. Damn, this guy has two claws of attack, but he didn't get a single empowerment. Even though he has two. And he has daggers as well. Oh, these daggers actually cause zero stamina. I, I never realized that. These things as well, they only cost 0 0.5. Wow. They're a lot better than I thought. Hundred percent accuracy as well. With a five with only one clover. Hmm. A lot better than I thought. A lot better than I thought. Okay, what's this thing do? I've not seen this recipe before. I think it's the first time I've unlocked it. Use 3 mana to deal 6 damage and increase its damage by 2. Okay, well that's absolutely horrible because I'm not making any mana now. This thing's on sale. How many nature items do I have? 
one, two, just these four. I'm thinking I go with this, put the piggy on it. Maybe sell the spear. No, this thing, this thing only works with crits. I mean, with uh, spikes. I don't have any spikes. I need space. That's what I need. I want to put the banana in a spot that triggers with this piercing arrow. So it says 50% chance to gain one clover when an item activates. I also have the piggy pointing at it, so it's actually 70% chance. So I'm going to be gaining a lot of clovers. Now I just have to find a way to deal with Actually, mm, the rocks aren't. The, I don't have the bag of rocks on the stones there. Take the carrot. The carrot seems super good here. And take the pig. Because I can combine it with the clovers. And I guess the rocks are just not gonna. Uh, just don't use the bag of rocks this turn. See how it goes. Yeah, my stamina usage, oh man, my stamina usage is not good. Okay, take the pig. Maybe get rid of the rocks entirely. I need more space, man. I need more space. Kind of want to take that too. Because it, it is on sale. Oh, 
Oh, this thing actually combines with the uh, pan. Crazy. I'll try it out. Yeah, it looks that looks good. I could use another like a blueberry blueberry right here. That would be pretty good. Oh, but I still my stamina usage is super low, I gotta deal with that. Okay, so now I'm generating a shit ton of um clovers. Yeah, I could I could use more food. Corrupted crystal, I'm just not feeling it, man. Not feeling it. Not very good. Definitely taking that. In fact, I wouldn't mind the pig pointing at that. Okay, what are these two? Use three regen to inflict six blind. Ooh, I'm not, not getting anything. Nah, it's way too much. Okay, gotta deal with the stamina. And I gotta deal with the mana. Take the rock, why not? I should get rid of the spear, that's for sure. Yeah, sell the spear, just buy this thing. That's a good weapon. I want to try it out. Put the uh, fanny packs on it. Okay, okay. Next turn, I think I will sell the uh, staff by the bow and arrow. Okay, I gotta crush that fight, probably because this thing is taking up all my uh, clovers now. I'm not critting at all. Okay. 
Not get that to fit there. Oh, actually, I have this. I haven't used. I haven't even used this. This combines with this. Well, let's see what it makes. Time to sell the bag of rocks and the rocks and put the bow and arrow in instead. Something like that. Something like that looks good. I could put the pig pointing at that. Could use the other pig pointing at it as well kind of feeling that because this thing is using up all my clovers right now. Seems way better, way better. Make this point at this because this thing, this thing has a faster attack speed. This thing I'm gonna sell. I mean, am I gonna sell it? It seems like it's doing damage. Okay, Let's see how we do now. Running out of stamina, but good enough, good enough with the bow and arrow. I'm gonna take that just to take it, see how it feels. I've never used it before. I'm gonna take this and start making gemstones. I can't afford that. I mean, I'm not even producing any. any mana right now.
That looks good. Can't fit that in. Cannot fit that in. Actually, this is not inside the backpack. Wow. That's been a big. That's a big mistake by me. inside the backpack. This looks very good. That looks good. Very good. Okay, 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 okay. Let's put this the other way around. Let's put the bow coming in from the top. Like that. putting that there I just needed to make a lot of a lot of clovers for me
can't fit that. I can't fit it. Twenty-five percent, twenty-five percent faster attack speed. I'm definitely taking that. Another bow and arrow. I tried. Delta Hunter damage, Fancing Rapier. Okay. Followed by the bow and arrow. Actually, the bow and arrow didn't do too much. Definitely putting the attack speed on this thing. Take another bow and arrow. And now I just have to find a way to make a shit ton of, uh, Crit. Which I think it's possible. I think it's possible. space to put the banana up here Oh, now I can actually make mana. With these blue uh, gems.
these two combined with the um, health potion make something strong health potion i haven't made that yet i'll try it out Oh, this guy's hitting me for fatigue every five seconds. He might be able to beat me, yeah. Looks like he just shit, shit on me with a whole bunch of poison. Right here. Okay, I'm looking for a blueberry. That's what I need. Okay, so how is the strong health potion different from the regular health potion? 50, 18, deal for 18, gain 2, cleanse 4. Versus... Actually, I don't know. I don't know what the other one does. Thank you. 
Now I don't have the pig. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm looking for more health potions right now. Okay, I think I should move this up here. Should have put this on this thing. And I think that would that would have won me the round. Okay. Not bad though, not bad. Good game. 